Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Ian Talk. Today, I've got the second episode of the Things You Didn't Know series. In this series, we'll be taking a look at a list of fun facts and secrets about a dedicated movie that you probably didn't know prior to watching. The first episode featured one of my personal favorite Korean movies, New World. In that video, I asked you guys what movie I should do for the next episode, and a lot of you guys requested the classic Korean film, Old Boy. And so, this episode of Things You Didn't Know will be on the Korean crime thriller, Old Boy. From this point on, this video will contain spoilers of the movie. If you do not want to be exposed to any spoilers, I suggest watching the film first and coming back to this video afterwards. You have been warned. Now then, let's get right into the list of 30 things you didn't know about Old Boy. Let's first get some basic background info laid out. Old Boy was directed by one of the most famous Korean directors, Park Chan-wook, and starred the incredible actors Choi Min-sik, Yu Ji-tae, Kang Ye-jung, Kim Byung-wook, and Oh Dar-soo. The movie was originally released on November 21st of 2003 and re-released 10 years later on the same date in 2013. Old Boy revolves around the topic of revenge and is one of the three movies of Park Chan-wook's revenge trilogy, the others being Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Sympathy for Lady Vengeance. There are three characters seeking revenge in the film, Yoo-jin getting back at Oh Desu for his sister, Oh Desu getting back at Yoo-jin and Cho-rung for imprisoning him, and Cho-rung getting back at Oh Desu for ripping his teeth out. Old Boy was the first Korean movie to win the Grand Prix at the Cannes Film Festival. The movie is based on the Japanese manga, Old Boy. The original manga wasn't very popular and so they were able to buy the rights to it for merely $20,000. When selling the rights to the film back to Japan, it was sold for $2.2 million. The movie was remade in Hollywood in 2014. The remake was directed by Spike Lee and Josh Brolin, who also played Thanos in the Avengers movies, played the role of Odesu. Old Boy was listed as number 30 of the 21st century's 100 greatest films by BBC. The only other Korean film on the list was Kim ki Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter and Spring. Choi Min-sik, who played Odesu, actually wanted to play the role of Yu Ji-tae's character, Yu Jin. He himself casted Yu ji for the role of Woo Jin. The movie begins with a scene cut from the middle of the film with actor Oh Kwang Lok's cameo appearance. This was used at the prologue to grab the audience's attention from the start. Mr. Oh Kwang Lok said he would only be able to play the role if he knew why his character was trying to kill himself. The director revealed that the character was in love with his dog and once this got out, he was swept with negativity from people and so decided to commit suicide. This explanation was left out of the movie because the director felt that including it would make the movie try to go over too many issues. If you look at the scene of unfalling closely, you can clearly see that the dog was actually a doll. The van that drives by behind Odesu after the guy with the dog falls was driven by Yu ji This was to show that he was continuously watching Odesu. The police station scene in the beginning was the last scene to be filmed. Choi min worked out intensely to lose weight for the role of Oh but in order to film the beginning scene of him in the police station, he had to put on weight again. The painting on the wall of the prison room is The Man of Sorrows by James Onsor. The scene of Oh tattooing his hand to show how many years he was imprisoned originally was going to use a fake hand. However, it looked too unreal. Thus, Choi min performed the scene on his own hand. One of the most iconic scenes of the movie is the scene of Odesu eating a live octopus. This is a fairly popular and common dish found in Korea, but was Choi min first time having the delicacy. Of course, we don't eat it as savagely as Taesu though. Because Yuji Tae has a very attractive voice, his voice was first introduced in the movie before he actually made his appearance. <laughs> In the scene of Cho Ryong, played by Oh Dar-su, on his laptop looking at stocks, you can see that the screen isn't actually a website but a file on the computer. There were lots of reoccurring elements throughout Old Boy. First, clocks. Clocks and the time were in the opening title scene on the television of the prison room as well as the watch shop to name a few. Second, ants. 
Ants were used to symbolize loneliness in Old Boy and can be found coming out of Odetsu's arm and face as well as on the subway with Mido. And finally, mirrors. A mirror shot was used when Ujin reveals the reason why he imprisoned Tezu on the photo album's last page when revealing Mido is the daughter of Tezu and when young Tezu witnesses Ujin with his sister. The song that Mido sings to signal her wanting to have an intimate relation with Odesu was the same song that was played on TV when Odesu relieved himself in the prison room. A famous scene of the film is Yujin's yoga scene. Although it's widely believed that Yuji Te performed this on his own, a wire was actually used to film the scene. Another famous moment of Old Boy is a fight scene where Odesu takes on numerous enemies. This scene goes on for 2 minutes and 40 seconds and was a one taker with no cuts. This became not only one of the most recognized scenes of Old Boy but movies in general and was the motivation for many other film scenes. The knife stab in the back of Odesu in that famous scene was actually computer generated. If you look closely, you can see that the knife suddenly appears before being stabbed and moving very unnaturally when stabbed in the back of Chaemin Shik. You can also see that the knife wound isn't there once he leaves the fight scene. There were two very natural ad-libs by Chaemin Shik, proving what a great actor he is. First, the school anthem he sings when begging Yujin. And also, the scene of him hitting his head on the table wasn't planned, but he accidentally hit his head and just kept acting to make it look natural. Lots of fellow actors such as Lee byung Jeon Chun Do-yeon, and Pae Do na visited the film site. Amongst the many actors, Song Kang-ho visited the film site the most, who was also filming a movie titled The President's Barber during the same time. He's even mentioned in the end credits. Kang Ye-chung, who was only 22 years old at the time, broke through immense competition to win the role in an audition. This is the scene she performed for her audition. And she brought an actual, real sashimi knife into the auditions, which she borrowed from a nearby sashimi restaurant. The Bible quote, Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snare of the fowler, in the movie is said to be Proverbs chapter 6 verse 4, but it's actually Proverbs chapter 6 verse 5. The purple pattern of the boxes left by Ujin is also seen on the handkerchief, the envelope, as well as the umbrella of the beginning scene. In the scene where Ujin starts to explain why he imprisoned Odesu, you can see that he already had the cufflinks on his shirt sleeves, but picks it out and puts it on again in the following scene. Chae min Shik performed most of the stunts himself. However, a stuntman was used for the more dangerous scenes. You can see the stuntman in a few of the scenes. The writing on the blackboard of the school was written by Chae min Shik himself. In the scene where Tezu is begging Ujin to not reveal that Mido is Tezu's daughter, Tezu cuts his own tongue. However, Ujin, nor nobody, tells or orders Tezu to do so. He cuts his tongue on his own to show how desperate he is. And finally, the final scenes of Old Boy were shot in New Zealand. The movie ends with an open ending of whether Odesu remembers or doesn't remember the fact that Mido is his daughter. The scene of him hugging Mido is a very confusing one that leaves the audience puzzled on the outcome. Is he laughing or is he crying? What do you guys think? That concludes today's video on the 30 things you didn't know about Old Boy. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end and please let me know in the comments what you think about Old Boy and this episode of Things You Didn't Know. Also, which movie should I feature next? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and to show me your love and support. Finally, join the Ian Talk Patreon if you would like to really show me your appreciation in the content I make and also the Ian Talk Telegram group to further discuss with me as well as other Korean movie lovers. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.